Hey everybody, this is Jesse with Nexus 5 Soft Modern, and today I'm going to show you how to make the most out of Google Now. Google Now is a feature that is built directly into the Nexus 5, unlike other Android devices right now. It's built directly right into the home screen. Um, Google Now was released originally during um, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, and it was released sort of as a competitor for Siri. But, it, but um, Google went to go above and beyond Siri and Google Now is really two main features. One is a voice integration feature that I'm going to talk about a little bit later and another is a card information feature in which Google Now gives you cards of information based on things that it thinks you might want to know about based on your search history and your results. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you have to turn on Google Now if you haven't done so already. You can do that by tapping on the Google search bar on the top of every home screen. So let's check it out. You go down here to get Google Now. Go ahead and tap it. You get a screen telling you what it is and hit yes, I'm in. And then you get taken to Google Now. So this is what it looks like. Google Now is a scrollable list of cards about information that pertains to you. You get the weather where you are. You might get some traffic updates and times to get home. Um, you're going to get things. So right now I have some information about albums of artists that I listen to. This is an album that's coming out. Google thought I should know about. These are articles that I read about. So. Google things that I should know about phones that give you the apps you want, which is pretty useful. I've got articles about the Pittsburgh Steelers because I am a Steelers fan. So it tailors all these um, results to me because it knows or it thinks it knows what I like. And it's actually pretty useful. The first thing you're going to want to do is scroll down to the bottom and tap this icon that looks like a wand. Here you can customize some things. You can tell it how you usually get around. You're going to want to do that because you'll then get the useful card about commute times to and from work. Um, you can do your favorite sports teams, you can set up stocks. If you go to places, you can set your home location and your work location, and that also will help you get cards about traffic. And you can check out everything else as well. From there, it's really a matter of just using Google Now. Um, you can use it, anytime you want to use it, you can just swipe to the left from your home screen, or you can hold in the home navigation icon and then scroll up and you also get it that way. You can also do this from any app. So if you're listening to music, and you want to go to Google Now, just hold that in and go up here, and you're back into it. It's pretty quick. The more you use Google Now, the more you're going to get cards based on things that it thinks you're going to be into. Cards about your sports teams, cards about the weather, cards about events that are happening nearby. If you don't like any of these cards, you can just swipe them away. Like that. And then you won't have to worry about it. Just keep, just keep using it and uh, give it a chance, and I think you're going to find it to be pretty useful. The other important feature of Google Now are the voice commands. You can get a voice, you can begin the voice commands by either tapping on the microphone button here, and then you can do your search, or you can just say, okay, Google. See, just like that. So if you want to do a voice command, you would just try that. Let's try to, you can search for anything, because it's Google. You can say, okay, Google. Benjamin Franklin. And you'll get information about Benjamin Franklin just like that. One important thing is that Google gives you, gives you the opportunity to open any information in a relevant app. So this is the Wikipedia article. I happen to have the Wikipedia app installed. So if I just tap this button, open an app, it'll take me right to the Wikipedia page. I find that to be pretty useful. There's a large list of voice commands. You can try them all out. I actually have the list in the full tutorial, and you should read about those because they're quite extensive. I'll show you a couple others in the meantime, though. You can YouTube something. So, okay, Google. YouTube cat videos. This will give us some YouTube results. Got funny cat videos. Epic funny cat videos. All good stuff. Let's see. What else can we do? You can set alarms. Okay, Google. Wake me up in three hours. Setting alarm. And then it'll set the alarm here. Pretty useful. Um, I'll show you a couple more. You can, there's map functionality. You can say, okay, Google. Directions to nearest gas station. This gives me a list of gas stations nearby. Very, very useful. The more you use Google Now, the better it's going to get. And I highly encourage you to do so because I think you're going to find that this information is pretty practical and pretty useful. And if you don't want to use it, you could always turn it back off. You can go down, you can go to settings, 
and you can just hit this switch right here. But check it out. Let us see what it can do for you and check out the voice commands and there are a lot of them and for the full list of all those voice commands check out the full tutorial over on Nexus 5 Softmodic. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot guys.